Natalia Bonner. Welcome to nine patch long block number four. This block does include some marking, so grab your Mark Be Gone marker, your machine quilting rulers, let's hop over to our machines and let's get stitching. Nine patch long block number four. This is a fun version of the idle quilt block. With this block, we're going to start out by doing a bit of marking. I want to find the center of all four sides of all of these blocks. So I'll find the center, go through, and mark that with my blue Mark Be Gone marker. Now you'll see that I'll just mark a small line. You could go through and mark a line all the way through, but I just need one line as a reference point. There's no rules as to how much marking you can or cannot do. You could totally add more markings. Once my marking is complete, then I'm ready to begin stitching. I love the look of stitch in the ditch, so I'm going to start out my design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of my block. Now, why do I love stitch in the ditch so much? Why do I do it? Personally, I feel like it just really helps to separate designs and give it just that extra custom look. You don't have to stitch in the ditch. It's 100% personal opinion and it's the look that I like. Now I also, especially because I'm working on a panel here, I want to stitch in the ditch between each of those blocks. So I'm going to also go through and stitch in the ditch right along each of my seam lines. If you're working on a pieced block, I'm still going to go through and stitch in the ditch between each of those blocks. Again, personal preference, you do not have to do this. When machine quilting with rulers, make sure you're always using the correct tools. I am using a machine quilting ruler and you can see that I have our fun piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip on the back. That really helps me keep my ruler nice and stable. Anytime you're working with machine quilting rulers, not only do you need to make sure you have the proper rulers, do not use rotary rulers to do this. You also need to make sure that you have a ruler foot and if you're working on a long arm, you must have an extended base plate. On a domestic, you need a nice flat working surface. All right, let's start stitching in the corner. I'll stitch from corner to center, from the center to the opposite corner. Then I'm going to repeat this. Now remember, nine patch number one. We quilted the same pattern, but we used a curved ruler. So this is the exact same design. I want you to remember thinking corner to center, center to corner. If you repeat that process, starting corner to center, center to corner, from that corner, I'll adjust and stitch across the block to the center, from the center to the corner, from that corner up to the top center, from the top center down to the bottom corner, from that bottom corner across the block to the center again, from that center back to that corner where I began stitching. Now this design, even though it is a continuous line design, I am going to just stitch one block at a time. Personally, I feel like I have better results and don't end up confusing myself if I just focus 
on one block at a time and then stitch in the ditch to get to the next block. I'm working on a Gamel 22 inch machine. Because I'm working on a long arm, it's most comfortable for me to start on the left side and work my way across from left to right. If you're working on a sit down machine or a domestic type machine, you might want to actually start in the center block and work out from the center. Now you will see as I travel, there will be points where I travel along my previous stitch line because I'm using the so fine thread, my thread blends really nicely. So now I've actually switched to my mini inside out machine quilting ruler. I wanted to use this ruler to show you how you use the notches on the end of the ruler to help you line up and get really straight, precise lines stitching right where you want your thread to go. As you can see here, I'm lining up my ruler so that that notch, the corner on the notch, intersects where I want my thread to stitch. By doing that, that notch is measured so that if you hold that notch right up where you want your thread to intersect, you'll stitch right up to the notch, slightly adjust your ruler, and your thread should intersect right exactly where you want. That notch is measured a quarter of an inch because the side of your ruler foot is about a quarter of an inch from the needle position to the outside. This is a great way to help you get really good at lining up your straight line designs. The inside out, the mini inside out, and the trailer rulers all have those awesome notches that help you stitch those nice straight lines point to point. I'll repeat that process, stitching that design in each of these blocks on this fun nine patch block. you all found a bit of inspiration from this fun video. I love this block. You could quilt this out. Even though I'm stitching it here on a nine patch, you could do it on a patchwork quilt across every single block and create so much interest. I love it. I can't wait for nine patch number five.